Hey everybody, Dan here with Sweet Maria's. Um, I currently have a, a batch of coffee roasting in my Be More 1600 Plus behind me. That's about to hit uh, first crack in a couple minutes. So I thought I'd take a moment to show you this neat little cooling tray that I put together using only a few items that I had sitting around the house and probably things that you have sitting around your house too. Uh, if you've read my Be More Roast Profile blogs that I've posted, you know that I don't cool my coffee in the Be More. The main reason is uh, that the Be More's cooling uh, cycle runs a little bit long, and without planning ahead, you really run the risk of um, baking out your coffee and uh, compromising a complex cup profile. Uh, this little cooling tray, on the other hand, I'm able to cool coffee anywhere from uh, four minutes uh, to as quick as two minutes when I'm just roasting a small batch like I am today. Uh, and, uh, and it's a really simple little design, I'm certainly not the first person to do this, uh, that consists of three items, a cardboard box, a colander, and a vacuum, which I have this little, uh, this little uh, miniature shop vac that I use. Um, all you basically do is get a colander uh, that you want to use to cool the coffee in, something, not, something that's not too big because you have to take into consideration that you're roasting fairly small batches, uh, one pound or less in the B-more. Right now I'm doing 125 grams. So I got this uh, nice little, it's uh, about six inches in diameter. And uh, get a cardboard box and tape it up uh, as best you can to cover up any openings where air could get in. Uh, turn your colander upside down, just trace around that circle and cut out the circle uh, and then you just drop the colander right in the box. Uh, the next thing you want to do is just cut out a little hole here that's the size of your um, vacuum cleaner tube, uh, which is where you're going to insert that tube uh, when you're cooling your coffee. And so what I'll do here, uh, let's see, we're getting close I think. Um, I'm going to wait for this coffee to pop, uh, so we'll probably fast forward the video here for a couple minutes. But when it does start popping, uh, I'll wait until the moment that I want to pull that coffee. I'm going to go ahead and stop the, uh, stop the roast progression, which will stop the uh, drum from turning. Uh, I'll pull the hot drum out, which is a little tricky, so I generally keep a, a towel and, a, and this little hot mitt on hand. I'll pull, that, uh, pull the uh, roast drum out. And I'll dump it in my tray with the vacuum cleaner nozzle in the side. And um, then we'll turn on the air and that will suck ambient air down through the coffee and should cool it in about three minutes. So I'll get back with you in a couple minutes here and we'll see it in action. Okay, so it's about time to pull the roast. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, interrupt the roast cycle and pull the drum out and dump it on top of yeah, into the cooling tray. I'm going to turn the vacuum on ahead of time just so I already have air pulling down through the tray uh, when the roast is dumped into the tray. Okay, sorry that uh, vacuum's a little loud. Um, I have the uh, coffee cooling. I also went ahead and put the drum back in to the bean more and restarted the cool cycle so that the, the drum's spinning while the um, hot air is being pulled up the back. I do have the front open as well, so I don't know that the fan in the back is the most effective thing in cooling the bean more down at this point. Um, but I'm going to make sure that that uh, cools down to the temperature uh, safely by restarting the cooling cycle. I'm uh, spreading the coffee out uh, along the, um, the, uh, 
smaller their holes. Try to cover up as many holes as I can in order to increase the suction of the outside air down through the coffee. Okay, this coffee is now cool. Um, so yeah, it's very simple construction. You probably already have everything you need to cool coffee in four minutes or less. Um, so yeah, have at it, and thanks for watching.